Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our research practice class part 5. My name is Michael Ogene Nureme and I am your host. Uh, remember that uh, the material we are using for this class is already published in my website which is www.admissionsandutme.com Let me start admissions and utme.com okay yes admissions and utme.com this is the website you are going to see the material we are using for our research class once you are here click this this place here this uh, search button and type preliminaries preliminaries okay here is the preliminaries type, type and search the, the the website once you search several materials will come out but the first one this is it non statistical non statistical preliminaries to research practice this is the material we are using for our work so i have already opened it okay let me let me just open it uh, let's go back to it okay oh, you open it good and when you open it it will come up just the table of contents will come out initially then you click page 2 click the page 2 good this is the full material that we're using for this work and currently we've gone far we are still talking about citation okay we are still talking about citation now okay that, uh, in our part four we discuss citation and now in part five we are still continuing with the citation but we are talking about the use of ampersand now remember we talked about in the part four video presentation we talked about the use of ampersand that when you are citing an author inside the body of your work before the quotes for instance you are going to say according to michael and the Murashi, 2002 now that and michael and the Murashi, because the, quote, the citation is coming before the quotes kindly use a and d but if this the citation is coming after the quotes because you are going to bracket both the author's name and the year that Michael and Imurashe at the end of the quote, you are going to use ampersand. When we say ampersand, this is what we mean by the ampersand, the symbol of and. We call it ampersand. Now let's go ahead to ampersand in the reference list. There's also a condition in using ampersand in reference list. In the reference, we don't use A and D. Look at it. Michael J O and Usman E 2018. I hope you can see the ampersand here. There is no and in this place in references. All your works, all your reference list in this particular area don't use and. It must be ampersand. Now, today we are going to enter number writing and references properly. Now, number writing has its own laws. In the American Psychological Association documentation uh, uh, references style, please, when you hear of the word APA, APA means American Psychological Association, and it states that when you are writing numbers in your research work, assignment, project, and thesis, when you are writing numbers from 1 to 9, you are going to use digits or figures. But when you are writing numbers from 10 and above, Sorry, when you are writing numbers from 1 to 9, you are going to use letters. But when you are writing from 10 above, you use figures. Now, look at the example here. There were 8 vehicles in the school compound. Look at the 8. It's written in words. There were 11 vehicles in the school compound. Look at 11. It's written in figure. You see? So, when you are writing numbers of 10 and above, let it be in figures. But there is also there is also close to the use of number writing. Now, if the number of 10 starts of 10 and above, which, which, which you were supposed to use as figure, start a sentence, you are going to use letters or words. Now, look at it. 17 students passed. Because the 17 started the sentence, you are going to use letter F words not figures now look at the second example there 17 students passed correctly the second one is the correct sentence then the last clause to the use of a uh, number writing if a number between uh, below 10 
is matched with a number above 10, you are still going to use figures. Now look at the example here. 8. Only 8 out of 20 students passed the exams. You are not going to use 8 as uh, you are not going to use 8 for letters and use 20 as figure. It's not good. You use both of them as figures. Now that is it for number writing. Please you can go through the material and read it step by step. You get a better understanding. Now in order to make this video short, remember our classes we are we are taking a shorter, shorter portion of the material instead of making it long and it is boring when it is long. Now references. <clears throat> you see, just as you 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 cook and you put maggi salt and pepper and the food is very sweet, or you put sugar and your garri soaking becomes very very uh, sweet like extraordinary that is how references is to research work if you don't put sugar in your garri you know it will not be sweet as you like so references in a research report your assignment seminar and project that is how important it is let me just give you a brief story in 2011 or so a friend brought his own research work for me uh, assignment to print I saw the references, I was like, is this how you guys do your reference or you don't know how to do it? He said he doesn't know, that he just downloaded them. I said, okay, will you permit me to do it for you? He said yes. I crawled, I, I, I crawled the whole references again and formatted it, printed for him and he went. The next day, the guy came back tired. I said, Mark, what is your problem? He said, you see that references you formatted for me yesterday? That's the only thing the lecturer marked. That he told all the members of the class to go and do their work again. That is only my work that passed. This is not a, form a, a formulated story. Oh. This is just me. When I was in my undergraduate, they used to call me Michael Assignments. Like I do assignment like Chris, you know. So this is just the, the true story of it. Lecturers give credence to references. If you do work and your references is very, 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 very heavy, very well constructed, uh, who is marking the work will acknowledge what you have done. So references, let's talk about references now. The documentation style adopted by the Faculty of Education, Niger Delta University, and many other departments, uh, faculties, is the APA references style. Although the APA format is more concerned with referencing, referencing, researchers often use both bibliography as well. Okay, we are going to talk about bibliography soon, so let's not confuse ourselves now. So, references in documentation, that is in your assignment, project, seminars, whatever, referencing is done by compiling all the cited names in the at the end of the report. This is to say that if you cited 25 authors in the body of your work, your references, your reference list will also contain 25 authors. Now let's let's understand what we are trying to say here. References is you, in the body of your work, you said according to Michael and Emirashia 2022, according to James and Emirashia 2022, that is two authors, Abi. Now, in your references, you are going to give us, you are going to show us the book that Emirashi and Michael wrote. In the body of your work, you only mention the name of the author and year. Now, in your reference list, number one, Michael and Emirashi, 2022, preliminaries to research, non-statistical preliminaries to research practice, retrieve, retrieved to uh, August 8th. 2022 from www.admissions.utme.com. I hope you are seeing what is happening here. Very good. That is your references. And all the people you listed in your work, they must appear in your references. The rule is this. You cannot cite one million authors and your references, you have only two authors there. No. If you cite 25 authors in your reference list, if we count it one, two, three, four, it must show 25 uh, references to that is what we are trying to talk about then let's talk about bibliography while the referencing has to do with compiling only names of utilized of names utilized in the body of work bibliography is concerned with all other books and papers from where ideas were formulated but were not cited so what is now the difference of bibliography and references Remember that references, only those you cited must appear. But bibliography, there are some works you did not cite the authors, but you look at the, their textbook and you got an information from there and you use it for your work. 
So in bibliography, all those people, those authors who use their textbook, but you did not cite them in the body of your work, you must put them in bibliography. That is just the difference between all uh, references and bibliography. Then let's also continue reading about the bibliography. It's already 10 minutes. Okay, please let's just go ahead a little. You can read the rest part of the document uh, bibliography up. Now, how do we document references? How do we document references? For the purpose of brevity and precision, only few related documentation will be carried out here. However, you may visit NOAQ 2016, page 376 and 383 for a complete list of documentation. Okay, guys, our class is already uh, close to 11 minutes and uh, we want to go straight how to document journals but this will not be in part six of our class remember that uh, the, there are different ways we document uh, we document references now we are going to start with journals you know when you go to facebook uh, uh, google and search for materials for your assignment you see many pdf files most of those pdf are usually journals I, I, I want to think that you, you, you know what journal is, but in, for the purpose of, to, for the avoidance of that, in our next class, I'm going to screenshot how journal looks like, then I will, I will display it here so that you get the meaning of what we are trying to say. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, we are very grateful for following our channel. Please, if you have not subscribed, ensure to subscribe so that all other videos will be notified whenever we post them. When you subscribe, please do well to click the notification button so that you can be notified at any moment in time. Thank you very much and God bless you.